Before we jump into the CSS tutorials, I want to finish this HTML lesson by talking about the span tag. The span tag in HTML is used to format content, but it goes above and beyond the basic formatting we've done here with um, elements such as the heading, um, the block quote, a simple bold or an underline. Those are easy to accomplish with the HTML tags we've already learned. But a span tag allows us to create a style for content. And there's a lot more we can do when we create a style. So let's do that here in this page of our website. I'm going to go into the edit. And we're going to format this little piece of lorem ipsum text here. And I'm going to start with by removing all of these non-breaking spaces that indent that content. So I'm going to delete those out. And we are going to create our span style tag. So I'm going to type in an opening bracket. And then the format or the um, syntax is span style, followed by an equal sign. Now we're ready to give styles to our content. I'm going to start off with a simple style. I'm going to open up with double quotes and then type in the words font size, followed by a colon. And then I want to define the size of this text. So I'm going to say 18 pixels. Follow that up with a semicolon, a double quotes to close, and then a bracket to close. So this is my first tag here before the content. And then I want to close off the tag with the bracket, the slash, and then just the word span there. So let's preview this. And we can see that our content here has been um, increased in size to 18 pixels. So that's working so far. Let's go back and let's add some other styles. What a span tag can do is it can add multiple styles inside of one single tag. And so we can do one style after another here inside of this opening tag. So after the semicolon and before the double quotes, I'm going to create a space. And I'm going to give this text a color. So I'm just going to type in the word color a colon and then the, any color I wish and I will choose red. Again I need a semicolon to finish that style. Let's preview. Now we have red 18 pixel sized font. Now before I um, deleted out the non-breaking spaces we had this um, line indented now adding all those non-breaking spaces is quite tedious but if we use a span tag then we can easily bump over or tab over a line of content or even a section of content and the way we do that is with either a margin or a padding and so I'm going to create another style which is a margin and I need to type in the word margin and I want that to be on the left side of the content so I add a dash and then the word left a colon and then the space is defined with pixels so let's just do 25 px for pixels a semicolon again to complete that style and then we'll preview now we can see that our um, text has been bumped over by 25 pixels and so we have this nice indentation here and that was done simply through the span tag without having to type in a bunch of non-breaking spaces in the code. And if I wanted to change that um, spacing, I could simply go in here and edit the value. So if I want to increase it by 10 pixels, that'll push it even further to the right. That is because the margin is on the left of the content. We see margin left. Let's do one more. Let's add a background color to this content. And that is background dash color colon and this will be in a bit of code here and that is the hexadecimal code for yellow so we will preview and now we see a yellow highlight behind the text or a yellow background behind the text. Now I don't know the hexadecimal codes for colors off the top of my head. I had this one picked out already. 
Um, but you can get these codes from a lot of different resources online or from Photoshop if you use Photoshop. And so I just want to let you know that I didn't just pull that out of nowhere. I, j I don't really know my colors like that. So um, the point of this being that we can do a lot with the style of our content by using a spin tag in the content of our page. Now, um, when we get into CSS, we will see where CSS really is helpful. Basically what it does is it takes all of this out of the content of your page and puts it in a different document. And it uses divs to do that. And we just talked about divs, and so we'll see how all this kind of comes in together. You can imagine that if you were coding um, a lot of content on a page and you wanted to, to format the content different ways that all of this HTML all over the place would really get busy, it would get messy, it would get hard to read, and you would have to um, spend a lot of time typing all of that in um, each time. So we'll see in the um, lessons on CSS how CSS really makes it easy to create styles for your content and for your website in general using um, this same kind of principle but just applied in a better way. And so if you um, want to simply style just a bit of your text, a bit of your content in your website, then a span tag like this is um, pretty easy to do and it's certainly an option. And if you want to know um, what, what's the syntax for a certain type of style, well, there's tons of resources online where you can get those inf all that information. We're certainly not going to go through all of the different styles that are possible here. But we'll look at a lot of other styles once we get into CSS. And that's coming up next. So we will go ahead and finish off these HTML lessons and get down into the CSS in the following tutorials.